You gonna go play some games? I like the, uh, the muffled music. It reminds me of, like, pulling in at a theme park and hearing the music from the parking lot. Or, like, waiting in line to get our tickets and hearing the music from inside the park. Gives me a lot of nostalgic memories. God, this place is huge. There's some Moogle Chocobo helicopter. I love how everyone hates Palmer, and I also like how he just got more screen time than like the entire original game. Cloud, the others are waiting. This is the buggy. Skywheel Square, that's new. Under Square, Event Square, Chocobo Square, Speed Square, Battle Square. Why is there no card square? Let's, uh. What's missing? What is Skywheel Square replacing? Or was there already six? I think, I think that one's just extra. I think there was there was usually six. Hotel is Go Square. Round Square. Which is funny. <laughs> Around square. So this is our desert parking area. Access is reserved for guests with vehicles and their companions. So apparently we can get in from the desert later. So uh that kinda makes sense, cause the gondola was kind of useless other than the one time. Well, you could ride it whenever you wanted, but. Other than the one, uh. Actually, wait. I wonder if Skywheel is instead of gondola. I guess we'll find out. I don't know why I'm trying to conjecture when I could just go in and find out. Oh my god. Is that a gold, Kate Seth?
Yuffie with a dress sphere or something? What happened? <laughs> get into these predicaments. Welcome to our gilded paradise, the gold saucer. Dio, art director. And you, sir, are... Cloud. <laughs> well, Cloud, shall we do... Let go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? What's happening? Are we about the Tekken fight or something? The way they were standing, I thought they were gonna Tekken fight. They might actually still. This might actually be Battle Sin. It's Battle Sin. I was literally about to say it's by Battle Sin. Dance Sim. It's DDR Dance Battle Sim. <laughs> it's the Battle Sim. But it's a full game now because Rebirth. I love that Dio is like the park director now instead of just the bad old guy. Oh, I can't dodge the right. I love that Dio. He was like, I guess he was the owner, but he only showed up at the battle arena, and that was it. So even if he was, if he was. It, Yeah, I mean, you never saw him anywhere else, but his one room in the battle arena. Ow. Shut up in Speed Square? You did? 
I'm barely paying attention to this. I probably should be paying attention. Very brief. Is that an underwear joke? Cause it's gotta be right stick. All right. I was like, I can't dodge the right one. All right, I got it. I guess you have to wait like really long for that hook. How do we have it? Are you supposed to hit it like right when he does it or later? Oh, am I hitting the wrong? I don't. You're gonna blast me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I got it. Apparently I just had to be in the real thing. I wasn't realizing that... Oh, Red 13 loves me now because I'm so good at that game. I wasn't realizing the tells. And look at him. Let's give our worthy contenders Truly a man's man. Some <laughs> absolute unit. Does anyone know how Kate Sith attacked Yuffie with clothing? Well, thanks. I'm still confused. <laughs> Look at that cactuar. A small token of my thanks. One golden ticket. Your ticket. To oh, there you go. I don't have to buy it now. Cool. Yuffie's Wu Tai pop star outfit has been added. Can she wear that in Cosa del Sol? Or can I wear outfits here too? Nice Catch me if you can, I'm the Cactuar man! This dude's fantastic. <laughs> Don't tell him about the honeybee in. Wait, I want to see the Tom Bear. And they're stamp balloons. You know, they really haven't said anything about stamp. Barrett made like one stamp quote. And we've seen a few stamps, but it, not nearly as much as in Midgar. At least he admits it. 
They had a lot of fun in Costa del Sol. I kept looking at him like, but I want to play. I can't wait to see the haunted hotel. Now the tubes are just like giant walkways. There was there was a comment I was gonna make earlier that I totally forgot, and then that scene made me remember. Remember when we were talking to the doctor, and Cloud like straight up attacked Barrett, and Barrett like blocked it with his gun, and then he was like, "What's gotten into you, man?" I feel like that reaction is so like calm. For what Cloud did, <laughs> like Cloud nearly took his head off, and he's just like, "Hey man, what's the big deal?" You know what I mean? Or he attacked the robe guy. Okay, he I didn't I didn't catch to that then. He attacked the robe guy and Barrett like jumped in the way. Okay, I didn't I didn't catch that first time. Okay, that makes more sense because I was like, "What the heck? <laughs> How does he like attack ba Barrett?" And then Barrett's like not even upset about it. Okay, that makes more sense. I must have been looking at chat or something and didn't notice. That makes way more sense. Okay. Because <laughs> I was like, what in the world? You ever walk on, uh... You ever go to the airport? Okay, this looks incredible. I love this so much already. This is my jam, dude. Haunted Hotel is the best part of Gold Saucer for me, even though you don't do anything there. The spooky ghost. Just 
Yippee, lads! Eyes up here! <sighs> Kate Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire! Put it there! <laughs> it's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike, though. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off! You coming? Okay. So... I love this scene for multiple reasons. For one, I really like the the take where Barrett's not just upset because of the dying thing. He's like specifically upset because of how much Mako the gold saucer takes. Like that's a really cool idea that I never really thought of before. That like Barrett would specifically hate the gold saucer, not just because it's like hee hee fun goofy time, but like also because of how much Mako it takes. Like that's a really cool idea. Second off, Kate Sith just looks freaking amazing. Like, just the look, like, he, the graphics on that dude. Look at the graphics on that game. Like, holy cow, he looks so cool. Third of all, I love that Barrett and Kate Sith are already arguing. This sets up so much cool stuff for the future. I really hope that Barrett and Kate Sith argue through, like, the entire game. Like, because that, because there's that one argument that they have in the original that's, like, really good and really pushes both of their characters forward. It's one of my favorite, like, back and forth in the game. But other than that, they don't really interact at all throughout the game. So it's really cool that we're already kind of setting this up. And hopefully they continue to use them as a way of, like, telling both of their stories. So that was, that was 10 out of 10. I really like that a lot. Look at them. Look at the graphics on that game. Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. What do you guys think of his voice actor? I felt like uh, something felt off with the way Kate Sith was talking, or sorry, the Moogle was talking. But I feel like Kate Sith was was fine. The Moogle sounded we or I I guess the Moogle wasn't talking. It, it, they were looking at the Moogle, and he was talking through the megaphone. And then he was like, look up here. So yeah. Maybe it was just the megaphone voice just sounded weird. It's like muffled. But that's why, because he was talking through the the megaphone. But the the accent felt off. It wasn't just the muffling. Like the accent felt weird. But then once he stopped talking through the megaphone, it sounded better. And yes, he was definitely the right amount of obnoxious. <laughs> oh man, look at it. The ghosts are playing chess. Where's the big creepy face? There it is. It's like gold instead of red. This is like a one-to-one -one of the original. This is crazy. This is exact. Everything's in the same exact spot. Pretty much. I think there was only one table there instead of two. And there was just a chair here instead of all this. But like... Even the crazy, goofy face that I was like, they're not going to put that in because I don't even know why it's there in the first place. Is here. <laughs> and Mr. Hangman's right where he should be. Now, is the cage in here? Is that it? So a friend told me this story. 
There's no Mr. Pumpkin. There's no Jack Skellington. You missed it. The Kefka laugh is in the in the room, so the jury's still out on that. But the well, yeah, Jack Skellington does the same thing, but could still be in the room. I like this music too. Oh, they're not playing chess, they're playing Queen's Blood. Just realized. Tacky and understaffed. Great. Hello? <laughs> Welcome, gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of... Kind of looks like Nero when you're up close. He was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? <laughs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one sweet or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? <laughs> Sir Dangly Man. Mm -hmm. I like this instead of him telling a fortune and then just forcing himself on the party. This is a great... The Tonberian Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? This is a much better idea. <laughs> it feels so good to do good. All right, lads. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> It'd make sense because Shinra would have this Your ability. Your are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. Yeah, I don't know if I want to stay in the Elagor suite. <laughs> yeah, so I always had the impression that the Hanged Man was actually like a doll and not a person. Do you guys concur, or was it a person? It probably had to have been a person because it talked to him, but I always just had this like this head cannon that it was a it was like a doll that talked to you and gave you your rooms. But I think it is just a person in a outfit. But yeah, in the in the original, he's a hanged man. I can see why they didn't do that though. This is just fine. Although I, it would have been cool if his name was still like Hanging Man or something instead of Concierge. He's just a hard worker. There you are. The offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you through. You can answer any question. But of course. Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, 
Sephiroth, you say? All right. Hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this? Okay, okay, seriously. Hey, can we can we stop? It's unreal. Every trailer, every ad, every the back of the box. They can't help themselves. They have to continually prod us about the elephant. Do with Sephiroth. What indeed? Give me another chance. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Come on. In a good way. Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? Watch your belongings. We're done. Wait, don't go. Third time's a charm. Come on, you stupid thing. Yeah, what the heck? They changed the lucky color. Zero out of ten game. You shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars well, we still the got the original ways. one. Interesting. You good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. Um, see what this crap does. My apologies, sir. Oh my god, look at him waltzing. <laughs> oh my god! His animations just kill me. Odd. My readings are normally bang on. Hey, that's the... Coral... Bridge room. Bridge control room. And so is that. Why do they have the same picture on the same floor? Also, that's creepy. And so is that. so tall with those two. Reservation under the name Palmer. Director of Space and Aeronautics? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. <laughs> It says here you canceled those rooms. What? No, we didn't. <sighs> While we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites, Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. <sighs> Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. <sighs> Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, waitress! He has such a, like, penguin vibe. Like Batman penguin vibe. We've arrived. Farewell. We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. Thanks. Picture. 
Watch her over there. Oh my... Looks like somebody. <laughs> More toys. I think they'd be used to it by now. Well, there's the guy again, but he's a model. Purifying air with prejudice. Retribution is at hand. Alright, where's my closet? What is that? keeps falling. <laughs> this Domberry is just following me around. <laughs> this room is incredible. Jack! Jack is in my room! But he doesn't make a noise, he just spits at me. Well. No Kefka laughs, 0 out of 10. Returning the game to GameStop. Unless... Turning the book 99 times unlocks the Kefka laugh. I wasn't talking. Didn't peg you as a bookworm.
This is odd. Isn't that the room that you couldn't open and remake? I'm trying to remember. That should be Eret's room. That was Eret's room. That was Cloud's room. You had to sneak past. There was the bucket there. I don't think you ever got to go in that room. Unless I'm getting them mixed up. Or maybe you went in there just to talk. Then you slept in the other room. I thought there was one room you couldn't go in. Later when Marlene was in there. That makes sense. <laughs> they showed the dog. Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. <laughs> You're supposed to say thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. Thank you. <laughs> Marlene's the best. Hey, did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Vix. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. rather let him explain. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. <sighs> sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get Biggs. Right now. Need it? Always do. Honest and true. But... <laughs> Let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes. Sometimes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Not bad, kid. Dang, man, that had me going. Such a genius idea. Like, okay, we're trying to get Zack to seem like super likable to those that maybe haven't played Crisis Core. How do we do it? Put him in a room with Marlene. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect way to make him seem likable, like, immediately. That was great. Um, also, I'm having flashbacks to the end of Remake when they show Biggs randomly laying in a bed as if he didn't die earlier. I guess that was also Zack's whatever timeline, whatever it ends up being, right? Because it wasn't 100% confirmed as to whether or not that was a Zack thing or if Biggs actually did survive in the regular timeline and we were going to like see him later. Um, so that's pretty much like confirmed to probably be Zack's world now. So that's interesting. He could potentially be alive in both, but I would imagine that's not the case. I would imagine that was Zack's world. 
but it was not confirmed because it was a it was a random random like cutscene where it just like showed it at the end of remake and it wasn't obviously Cloud or Zack timeline. It was just kind of there. So now we know. I just realized the statue follows you. <laughs> I did not notice that before. Hey, how are you feeling? Do you need anything? Some food? Water? I'm fine. You were right. Just needed some sleep. You alone? Yeah, Red's off doing his own thing, and Aerith and Yuffie are taking a spin on the Skywheel. They're only letting couples on tonight. So here I am, the odd woman out. They hit it off quick, huh? Must be nice to make friends that easily. What, like you can't? I don't know. I act like I can. Think I always have. Ever since I was a kid. Anyway, you up for a little I like this upbeat Tifa theme. I mean, no pressure. Of course I'm up for it. So I don't want to say it because I don't want I think it's kind of it's kind of unavoidable. Might as well say it. Uh Yeah, I mean I'm just thinking of the scenario where I don't say it and then we go through the rest of the game and then randomly I have to say it. So I might as well say it now. Is this the date? Because I was nicer to Tifa than everyone else. So it would make sense that I get Tifa date. But this is not when date normally happens. So it's kind of weird. I feel like... See, like, I don't know. Do I want to know? <laughs> because if I don't know, then... No, surely, surely it's got to be later. It's got to be. It's got to be, because I... Unless they move the keystone, but obviously they're not setting up Dio to just move the keystone somewhere else. Can't be the date. It's definitely got to be later. It just happens to be Tifa now because it makes sense. And I just happen to be nice to Tifa. I do wonder if that scene changes, though, if you've been mean to Tifa. Probably does. We actually get to see Barrett's point of view here, instead of him just disappearing. See, uh, that's kind of a shame. That's kind of a shame. I don't like that. See you again. Yeah, I, I don't like that. I really liked how Barrett was, like, getting angrier and angrier as you got to golden saucer and then he disappeared and then people died and everyone was saying it was a guy with a gun arm and in your head you're thinking like it can't be Barrett but it has to be Barrett he's the one with the gun arm who else would have a gun arm so like it's a really great moment when you play the game for the first time where like you don't actually know if it's Barrett or not or maybe Barrett got framed or maybe Barrett like did it but it was in self-defense or like like no one you know you don't know and then 
when the when Barrett tells the story of Dine getting shot, then it clicks. It's like a really great moment, and they totally ruined it there by showing another gun arm. That's a shame, man. Maybe they just thought it wouldn't work here because Barrett's too obviously good. It is also not as angry. I mean, yeah, to, to play devil's advocate, he's not as off the rails and angry in this one. So if people randomly died and said it was a guy with a gun arm, I don't think we'd even question that it was not, was or was not Barrett, you know? Like, I feel like we would kind of know, like, it's not Barrett. Just because he's a lot friendlier and not as angry and he didn't storm off in anger this time. So, like, the mystery wouldn't really be there as much. So maybe they just realized that it didn't really work. So they changed it. So, I mean, that's fair. But it does, it is kind of a shame that we don't have that because that's such a great moment. Playing the game for the first time, it really does get you going. You're like, wait, could have, could Barrett have done it? Like, you know. So, yeah, it's kind of a shame, but I can see why they changed it, to be honest. Because, like I said, he just, he's not angry enough and not off the rails enough to really think it could have been him. But, I don't know. I mean, maybe try it anyways. I mean, uh, I don't know. Maybe he did it in self-defense or something. Or maybe there's just, like, something we don't know. And then that makes the reveal with dying cooler. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like they still could have at least tried. This just kind of blows it right off the bat like especially showing the gun arm if it was just a guy in a dark cloak then maybe we could still have some mystery mystery to it as soon as you see the gun arm it's like okay <laughs> I, even someone that's never played final fantasy 7 is probably thinking like i wonder if that's dying or i wonder if that's you know hmm They did only show, like, the edge of the gun, didn't they? So maybe you could think it's just a regular gun? Yeah. But still, I mean, you know it's not going to be Barrett shooting the people now. But I guess you don't really know it's a gun arm yet. You're right. But yeah, I mean, you know Barrett's not the villain now, so. Yeah. Thank you, Daniel, so much for the thousand bits, man. 38th birthday gift to the best community on Twitch. Thanks for everything. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, dude. Yeah, I mean, we still know. We still know that it's not Barrett, so. I would imagine that many people didn't suspect Barrett, but there's still that mystery of, like, it could be... We don't know what happened. Now it's like we're immediately going to know what happened. We immediately know whoever that is shot the people. So, they might not even make it a mystery. They might just literally show them shooting the people. Chadley. Hello there, Cloud. It's not often I see you in the company of a single comrade. Oh, yes. I believe I understand <laughs> the situation. Forgive me. I didn't mean to intrude. You're both overdue for a break. Enjoy yourself tonight. Good guy, Chadley. Hey, can I shop now? Just so you know, I was bitten by a zombie a few days ago. If you want to exchange your coins, <laughs> you'd better hurry before. So there's a GP trader here now? That's kind of cool. We can get a stuffed Tom Barry. Secrets of the Ninja. We can get the Haunted Hotel card, which is legendary. Why are X potions the most expensive item? Come back soon, because I don't think I have that much time left. <laughs> God, I want to work at this place. Is that? 
What is that? What is that? Is he telling a spooky story? <laughs> Come on, man. Travel. Let's go to Adventure World. excited. You know where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go to Wonderment Square. I'll just call it Wonder Square. By the change to wonderment. Thanks. Ten thousand flavors. He's here. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you'd come crawling out of your room eventually. I mean, seriously, who could resist the siren song of the saucer? You alone? Yeah. Got a little sidetracked and wound up losing the others. Well, feel free to join us if you want. And be a third wheel? No thanks. I know what I'm not wanting. Now, what are you trying to do, Tifa? Aren't you supposed to be dancing or something? You just stand there. They're taking pictures of you, start dancing. Alright. <laughs> They're just taking pictures of her standing there. Must be a celebrity. 